Hey guys, and welcome back to our Dragovic with Chief Igor the Bold Dragovic and me, of course, Paradox. Now, last time we left off, uh, we were trying to build our tribal estates. Now, we still haven't got enough to build the Earth Hill Fort. I can't build the marketplace because we're not on the coast, so it would be a bit useless. It wouldn't help us to uh, make a republic. Uh, I could build these, but I want to save my prestige for the 2,500 men we can get to raise tribal army. Uh, just in case, we may need that in the future. Um, from what I've gathered, I'm assuming that the tribal sort of area, it looks like everyone's growing very quickly. You can see here, and Kiev, and Lesser Poland. Everyone's attacking each other, everyone's growing. It's basically just a free-for-all, so you need to be extremely careful. Now, um, last time I left off, I have to apologize. Uh, you guys missed about two months. Uh, when I was recording, for some reason, um, when there was the last two months, my recording just turned off. I don't know why. But don't worry, nothing actually happened. Nothing important. So, there's no worries there. But now we will continue. Uh, our next stop, obviously, like I said, because everyone's fighting each other, it's a free-for-all. It's important to get big as quick as possible. But, not letting your army get too small. If you let your army get too small, the people around you will just attack you. So we need to be careful. Uh, next stop is Coronia or Livonia. So uh, we're going to be attacking one of these two next, uh, due to the people we can attack. Uh, Livonia, let's have a look. High Chief Ahanas of Livonia. Okay, not very good marshal. That's good. Probably doesn't have many soldiers. Uh, his allies are his true tribal vassals. Let's have a look here. So he's about 500. 200 and 100. Okay, that seems like a good one. We could probably take him on quite easily. Uh, what could we take? Livonia or Tartu? I like the idea of taking Livonia. Just because that's obviously... Well, Livama. Livama. Sorry, not Livonia. Uh, Livar. Hmm. We'll probably take this one. And let's look at Coronia. What is your army like? 800, okay. 500 and 400. But he has 200 at the moment. So he has quite a lot of men. Uh, can he call... Nope. Monthly prestige. You can't call a tribal army. Or have enough money. How much do you have? Minus 600. Okay, he definitely cannot call a tribal army. And he does not have enough money. So we're probably going to attack Livonia first. Um, that is what we're going to do next. Uh, at first though, I'm going to let my armies try to recover a bit. Uh, as you can see... They've gone down a little bit. Just wait a little bit more. Help them recover. We need to do our technology up. Um, I'm going to do light infantry. I think we have a lot of light infantry. Yep, 1,000 light infantry. So it kind of makes sense, I feel, to do that. Yeah, light infantry attack goes up. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, and nothing else? Done. Uh, demand's too big. Doesn't really matter. We have no vassals. My ruler's unmarried. Yep, we know why. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep it as Drago Vichia. Uh, no vassals, which is great right now. Um, my son, we need to wait for him to get to a good age. Hopefully he'll inherit everything. Um, we're going to look at the rest of the map for one second while I uh, wait for everything to go together. As you can see, uh, the Abbasids are extremely big and powerful. On Rufania, on Meshahar. So Kiev is getting even bigger. Damn. Uh, West Francia. Um... Charlemagne is facing a lot of revolts. A lot of people don't seem to be very happy. Um, so he's going to be facing that a lot of the time. Uh, the Umeyads uh, are getting very big. If we look at cultures here. Apparently the people who live in this area are Visigothic. Um, which did confuse me as another commenter said that obviously the Umeyads are Moors. Um, so I'm kind of confused why there are no, there's no Moors um, culture. Is Berber the Moors culture I'm assuming? Because he's a uh, Badoon. So is Badoon the Moors culture? I, I'm not sure. I, like I said, I don't really know this time period the best. Um, but it looks like the people who live here are Visigothic. Which is, I guess, could cause some trouble then. Okay. But yeah, so enough of that. Uh, England's doesn't seem to, They're not really fighting each other. They're all castles and stuff. They're not tribes. But the Picts are, which is quite nice. Okay, let's continue. Oh yeah, and there's some other things I've got to talk about, actually. Um, if you look here, we have the Chronicle. The Chronicle of House Dragovich. And you can kind of look through. This is the Chronicle of House Dragovich. 
in which is contained a record of its yearly fortunes, glories and difficulties. And it's only been about four years, we actually haven't got far at all. So yeah, not much else really there. Actually, one thing I want to say, I don't know why, I don't know if it's just me, but this looks... The user interface just looks a lot nicer. Like, just a tight, not a lot, but just a, a little bit nicer. I don't know if that's just me, like, these all look a little different. I don't know. I just feel like the vanilla looks a bit more polished at the moment. I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, though, like I said, I think it's going to be quite difficult. Due to the fact that I think everyone's just trying to expand. But our main goal is basically to form our own, uh, our own kingdom, maybe our own empire. Medium tribal organization. Ah, oh, yeah, we're going to go medium as well. See, our main thing is going to be to try and form our own kingdom. Um, ooh, my steward Anastasia tells me that her efforts at increasing religious fervor among the people I've met with great success. My steward? No, she's my chaplain. Um, there's a there's a bit of a problem there. Oh no, he's telling me that Anastasia. Okay, that's fine. Uh, a small army of zealots have converged at Pinsk. Praise Radagast. Okay. So we've now got some nice men. Everyone's getting medium travel authority. So maybe we should use these to take Livonia. But yeah, my main aim is to form our own kingdom. Probably not one of the normal kingdoms. I might just try and make our own. And then what we're going to do is we are then going to march down onto West Francia and the Lombards and the Umiads and the Byzantine Empire. We're going to cover the land in our tribal fury. That is the aim. They laugh at our tribal ways. Oh, Pomerania. Just increased in size. Medium, yep. Everyone's doing it. Okay, it looks like this is probably the best time to attack. Uh, 1,400, 1,700. We haven't got as many men as I would hope, but... I kind of just want to get it out of the way. So I, he can't have many men at all. He has no allies apart from them. I can't see this going any other way. Yep, I might, we might as well do this then. Let's just check. Yep, this one probably is the best. Okay, let's do this. Let's get our men. So really, it hasn't been long at all, but because we keep going to war, time is not able to pass by. <laughs> so we haven't really got anywhere at all. It's still 774. I could strive to become a better, or I can be satisfied with who I am and what I have. I will never be satisfied. Of course not. Uh, gluttonous. Yes, gluttonous. That means you want more, and he's brave. Uh, he's charitable, though, but that doesn't mean you have to be content. There we go. Ambitious. Perfect. So our good chap, Chief Igor the Bold, is ambitious. Okay, get the men together. Okay, you two are my best. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully I do not die in battle. That would be very upsetting. Actually, I might want my... Uh, Let's get you to help me. Yeah, we usually have you help me. And you are aggressive, so I want you to be in the center, actually. Uh, again, the they make it into a weird amount. No, no, we want that, that lot here. The smaller ones. There we go. That looks a bit more balanced. Perfect. And um, we'll swap you for me, just because this side has more people. I'm Now I'm in charge of both sides. What? Okay, that's a uh, little bug there, I guess. Apparently, I was in charge of both sides. Is there any river crossings? Uh, Zemgale. No, nope, we're fine there. What type of terrain? It's forest. And the climate is severe winter. Hmm. Do you know what? Let's not go there, then. I, I don't know how much the winter actually affects it. I guess it's June. Oh, the, okay, so there's no winter, then. So the climate would be severe winter... But it's not winter now, it's June. So that's fine. Yeah, let's just go there anyway. I'll lose less men if I just attack his lads. 
Now, I'm just going to attack his lands because we'll lose less men. Like I say, it's important not to lose too many men. Otherwise, the people around me will attack me. I'm, I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird. Uh, I'm a little ill still, but I need to record some of this or I won't have anything to put up. On Ozara the Wise. Oh, wow. She's attacking him. Jesus. This Kiev woman, she's already over here. Jesus. What is she doing? What is your plan? And I'm really scared, actually, because if she is a baby, Bohemia will get everything. Then again, actually, it's Gavelkind, isn't it? So probably won't. He already has one son. So probably due to Gavelkind, he won't, actually. That's a good point. I do like Gavelkind sometimes. Particularly for my enemies. <laughs> okay, 14th October. Okay, we'll get them after. They're getting more men. Where are all these men coming from? Okay. Okay, he's going to go there and take that back. That's fine. It's already been weakened, so when he takes it back, we'll just jump back in and take it back. It's not too big a deal. Let's look at the people around me. Uh, the Magyar, they're still quite big. Don't want to get close to them, really. I want to stay away from the kingdoms and the big empires and kingdoms until we get big enough where we can rain down terror and plunder. That is the plan. So he's taken that back. Don't worry about that. We'll just pop back in. Yep, so the people there are really low right now. The Holy Warriors of my court chaplain attracted to fight for Savrog have become disillusioned by our, my ungodly refusal to fight in Holy War and wandered off, denying me piety. Lose 250 piety? Jesus. Okay, that's not good. We just lost a lot of men. That's kind of sad. I guess, okay, yep, I get it because it's piety, obviously. They want a holy war. Uh, what I'm doing is not really a holy war. Okay, almost have this. Okay, now all of his land is quite weakened. Uh, she might fancy me. Hmm, am I the lustful type? Ambitious, gluttonous, kind, charitable. Um, there's nothing to say I wouldn't. So, um, there's nothing to say I wouldn't. She's a genius. Let's make a move. He like he's charitable. He he shares his love, you know, like any good man. He likes to share. Oh, what what are you doing? I guess because they were in charge of the troops. I went to uh, Yevdokia's chamber and gave her a good tumble. Very good. Maybe we could have lots of bastard children. Oh, so they're gonna come and attack me because I have less men. What happened to my soldiers? Shit. Right, 23rd of July. 16th of August. Damn. 25th of July. 27th of July. Damn it. Okay, so I, I've effed up here. We've somehow lost some men. Intrigue. Nope, nothing I can do here. How did this happen? Okay, we'll take them on. What is the... Planes. Okay, so yes, because I've moved into planes. Yep, they completely destroyed my men. Jesus. Marshal. My marshal died as well. That's terrible. Now we have a terrible marshal. Oh, he's been imprisoned. Son of a bitch. Okay, so that's kind of ruined my plans. We're going to get rid of you guys for one second. I have 1,000 left. 1,013. Let's raise those. I need to be careful. I can't lose too many more. Well, that was very dumb of me. We've been doing so well so far, and I make a stupid mistake like that. Did not think that through. Uh, okay. Kiev is having a little bit of trouble there. I might just have to do a white piece in this war. I don't think I can really risk losing. 
I'm not even sure if I want to go near him. He's still got more men than I do. Hmm, the question is what to do. So I've almost got enough prestige. So I could call the 2,500 men. We're going to do that. I'm going to do it. Yep, done. We're going to raise a tribal army. I'm not losing this war. We are not going to lose a war. Raise tribal army. There we go. There we go. We have it. I've had to, I've had to use extreme measures, but we were not going to lose a battle. Iger would not be known as the loser. Okay. So we're going to head in and we're going to attack him straight away. The new Chancellor. We're running out of soldiers, actually. We're actually going to run out of soldiers right now. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to defeat that. We lost way more men than we should have. We captured someone in battle. He's not very good, but that is basically him done. We can take this. I'm just going to go to Tartu. Okay. Okay. And that is done. His armies have been destroyed. Now, let's go this one. Because we can take this with a siege, I think. Assault it. Yep, we can. Get that down. That's basically over. Nope, he won't accept. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll attack this one then. I do have times 10, so I could siege this as well. I'm just going to do it. There we go. And the war's over. Perfect. Perfect indeed. So I've now gained another demands. Uh, <laughs> which is quite nice. Ah, a message of ransom. Ah, I do want him back. Okay, I am kind and charitable. We'll accept. Damn it, I need the money to build up my tribal holdings. I keep having to spend it. Let's get you back. Nope, you're still worse than that one. Train troops in Pinsk. So we have only 600 men now. The 2,000, really? 600 out of 2,000. What happened to the other ones? Let's have a look here. Yeah. Huh. Okay. No special event troops will be disbanded. Okay. Okay, they all disbanded. Great. I was hoping it would keep the special event troops. But I guess we, we already gained a lot of prestige. And our realm is getting very big now. We're doing quite well, I think. Duchy of Polotsk. Uh, we need to be careful, though. We definitely must wait for our troops to return. It's definitely my next plan. What to do with him? Well, I am kind, so we'll be merciful. Maybe I could just actually ransom him. Forty-six gold. Ooh, is that his daughter? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Forty-six gold. Exactly what I wanted. We'll be nice to him. Perfect. I now have enough gold. Perfect. Okay, so we have enough gold to make the Earth Hill Fort. What does it actually do, actually? Uh, levy size and fort level. Perfect. Done and done. So that's good for me. Uh, Polish Revolt. Okay. Check the people around us. He's having a bit of trouble the air, there. Orgra. Mordva, Khazar, Avaria. Okay. Yeah, everything looks quite the same. Livonia, though, is much smaller now, which is nice. Well, we're kind of going to destroy this one, Coronia and Lithuania. Those are the guys we're kind of going to use to attack. Uh, when can I do this up? 779. Okay. Found a kingdom. Uh, realm is at least 35. We're at 18. Oh no, realm size, we're eight. <laughs> we're no way near that far. Damn it. 
has become chief of Smolensk. Oh wow, he took over that guy. Damn, you're you're becoming a bit of a problem, aren't you? 130, you've got 10 marshal. We can't declare war on you. Okay. Hopefully that means you can't declare war on me. She's still not pregnant at 27. This could be good. I could separate Kiev lands from Bohemia. But it keeps a good buffer against the Magyars, so it's not the worst thing. Now, let's check. No, can't ransom these guys. It's a really important point in keeping these people. I might as well just release her. I'm a kind man. You know, our, our, our chief, he's a kind man. He may be brave and ambitious, but he's a kind, gentle soul. And he's charitable, so these people did nothing wrong. They're just fighting for their lord. Uh, oh, wow. I don't know how to say this name. Uh, Svipjod or Swipjod. I don't know how to say it. Uh, basically, what should be Sweden. Uh, he's doing very well. And there's his son, Ragnar. So good son. As you can see, isn't he meant to be strong? Is that not Ragnar Lodbrak? Huh. Okay. Was he in Denmark? If I got it wrong. Nope. Can't see him. Oh well. Maybe it's someone else. Maybe someone else took it. But yeah, we're going to continue with our own problems right now. I always forget to click this up as well. So, Coronia. How are you doing then? So, we've still got about the same amount of men. 601, though, one of your vassals has. They could be a problem. Le Coronia could be a problem. Maybe we should go after them when we've expanded a bit more. Maybe take in Lithuania. Earth Rampart has been built. How much for the next one, then? 148 gold. Okay, that's going to take a while, I think. But Lithuania could be a good choice. No allies, very nice. 1,300 men, though. My steward, ah. That praise in my name and deeds have met with great success. Splendid. We have another 300 men. That's 1,800. Anastasia might fancy me. Ah, her husband's dead. Well, I like I said, maybe I should. I think my guy's a bit of a player. He, you know, he has no wife. I mean, what do you expect? He has no wife. He can't stay celibate. We went and gave Anastasia a good tumble. As you do. Let's just check who we can declare war on. Can't declare war on you. Uh, can on Kiev, but we're going to stay away from Kiev. Uh, we can on Lithuania and Coronia. Can I do at the moment? We can. Yep, there's no truce. And Livonia, obviously, there's a truce. Uh, Luki, we cannot attack. And this one, we cannot attack. Okay. So basically, it has to be one of these two. 